Anchors away! Ahoy there! I'm here with Dublin Bay artist Richie Hart. Richie, how are you, me old flower? Ah, we couldn't be better, Finbar. The sun is poking its way out from behind the clouds. The snot green sea is at full toilet. And everything's coming up roses. <laughs> the snot green sea, a little quotation there from Jimmy Joyce, the old codger. Yeah, the old rascal. Oh, the, the terrible bollocks. The fucking cunt. Yeah, uh, so um, you're what's known as an all-weather painter, aren't you, Mr. Hart? I am now, I am. I do be out here in hail, rain or shine, splashing away with me little oils. Yeah, yeah I saw you've seen a few events here in these swimming spots, I'd say. Oh, I have, yeah. I was out here painting one day and we seen a fellow out there drowning. Good God. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was fighting for his life, so he was. The arms going like crazy. It's very easy for a man to drown, you know. And sometimes right under the noses of crowds of people. But you had your wits about you. I did, yeah. I jumped in and I gave him a clatter. You hit him? Oh, you have to. Otherwise they grab onto you and they try to drag you under and then you're both done for. So you knocked him out? No. I didn't catch him, Roy. I burst his nose. And Jesus, he went fucking mental then. Starts trying to kick me. And he's shouting, get away, get away, help, help, get away. Some people don't know what's good for them. No, they bleed and don't. Luckily, I got him round the throat. Go floppy, he says, or they'll put you under. And all the people then, standing on the rocks, and they're all shouting, get off him, you psycho. Oh, he says, I'm trying to save his fucking life, you pricks. A, a colourful scene. Oh, yeah, ma'am, so it was. And his nose is pissing blood. Like bleeding jaws, so it was. <laughs> Fair play to the man, he gave as good as he got. We shook hands when the ambulance arrived. We was only doing the butterfly, he says. You're wearing your fucking bollocks, he says. So tell me about your work. Well, I started painting film there around lockdown. See, my wife took me to this exhibition and I seen all these paintings selling for like two, three grand. I says, that's money for jam. Instead of sitting on me hole, I'll go down to the seaside and make a few bob. As you do. Yeah. And, and what's your technique? Well, I just, you know, uh, I just slap it on the canvas and you know, fuck it around a bit. Ah, uh, rough and ready. Yeah, there's no point pissing around for hours. Look at that. Sloppy old, sludgy old. But wonderfully free. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't pay money for that, but people are fucking stupid, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> a load of pollocks, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> what? A, a Jackson Pollock, the, the, the artist. Don't come down here and call my work a lot of old bollocks, buddy. No, no, I, I wouldn't. No, I call it that, but I'm not going to stand here and listen to you. No, a misunderstanding, no, please. I fucking come over there, I'll take this fucking brush. No, like please. many an artist before him, Mr. Hart's tempestuous nature manifests itself in his work. The exquisite cerulean blues applied in wonderfully untrammeled brush strokes put me in mind of a Turner or a Van Gogh. Anchors away!